Well, hello from a city that truly loves its football. Marseille, the city in question. And our action comes to you from the Orange Vélodrome. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It's Olympique de Marseille facing Bayer Leverkusen. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And here's how it looks for Marseille. It's the impressive Paul Lopez between the posts. Jordan Veretout plays alongside Valentin Rongier in central midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Alexis Sanchez. And so the Bayer Leverkusen team looks like this. Lukas Radetzky is the goalkeeper. Edmond Tapsoba plays alongside Jonathan Tarr in central defence. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And the match is underway. Florian Wirtz. Really good high press. And he cuts inside. A really effective shielding under pressure. Genghis Under. Promising looking attack from Marseille. There are two. Now Sanchez. Very quick thinking there. Florian Wirtz. Oh, that's a fine pass. Diaby. And making his move inside. Alexis Sanchez. A sloppy pass. Jeremy Frimpong. Demirbay has it. Diaby. Florian Wirtz. And the pass could do damage. And just grazing the crossbar. Well, it looked to be a good effort, but it just didn't come down in time. Chance to do damage. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Palacios. Amin Adli. Good looking sequence. Well, strong play here. And possession given away. Kolasinac. Alexis Sanchez. 
Cengiz Under. Return to Sanchez. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Corner kick played in, and still dangerous. Well, the supporters think it's on, and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Now can they counter clinically? And slipped through beautifully. Attending to his defensive chores. This attack looks highly promising. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Kerem Demirbay. Plenty of support here. A wonderful intervention. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. And collected tidily, he had plenty to think about. And no more time left. We've reached the halfway mark here at the Orange Velodrome. It's a game. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Beautifully weighted ball. Well, he had just gone beyond the last defender, Stuart. Well, that's a real shame because the through ball is really well weighted, but he just took too long to play it. Kerem Demirbay. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. But when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. has restarted 1-0 here the referees letting it go as they keep the ball Kolasinac Sanchez on to Inder how can he take them on and beat them well it came to nothing in the end can he convert and blocked for now. Cengiz Under. Well, it didn't worry the keeper. And Marseille pushing forward with options available. And successfully cut out. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Damien Bay. 
And showing fine vision. Well, the cross needed to be better than that one. Malinowski. Now Vertu. And unable to keep possession. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. A chance to whip it in. Clears it away. Sanchez. High quality defending. Counter attacking, very much an option. Diaby. Superbly read and executed. Well, as we approach full time, we have to say playing away from home hasn't been a problem for them. Can they see it out? Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's going to be a nervy end to this game. But if they do hold on, I think they've deserved their win. They've played really well and they've played some good attacking football. And in general, they've controlled the game. This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point. And momentum is with them. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Bayer Leverkusen continuing on the front foot. Can they break through? Can he put them in front? No is the answer to the question. And that could be so important at this stage. Well, will they get another chance? That would surely have won the game for them. Well, every time they win the ball back, these Marseille fans are urging their team forward. But they need a winner here, and there's not long left now. Holding it up, waiting for support to arrive. And he's lost custody of the ball here. Kolasi Natch. On to Veretu. Kolasinac. Can he open the door to a potential goal? Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. And that will be all for this contest. Marseille get the victory and take maximum points. How would you sum it up? Well, Derek, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer. And Stuart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.